Hi, my name is Kim, and today we're going to talk about kestrels. Welcome to McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild. Kestrels are actually small falcons, and how you can tell that the best way is through their flight shape. When a falcon is flying, it has very pointed wings and a uh, narrow tail. That's opposed to when a red-tailed hawk, which is a Budio type of hawk, flies. They have rounded wings and a broad tail that kind of spreads out at the end. Or opposed to an occipiter, such as a Cooper's hawk, they have uh, even shorter rounded wings and a long striped tail, skinny tail. And then, of course, the eagle, which would be just so much bigger, but also has rounded wings and a broad tail. So the falcon needs to have habitat both in the open, where it can hunt for small mammals, and by trees where it can nest because it nests actually in the cavity of a tree meaning a hole that another animal made um, you can also actually provide kestrel nest boxes there are plans online that you can make a box to put up if you have them on the edge of your field at home because uh, that's the type of place that they will need for a nesting area Otherwise, the big open spaces is where we usually see them when they're hunting for voles and mice and that sort of thing. They'll often sit on a perch, and that often is the telephone lines. You'll see these small birds. They're barely bigger than a robin, and they'll be perched on the telephone lines looking down below. When they think that they have found prey, they will fly out and actually hover for a moment and then dive straight down to catch it. They'll sometimes take that prey back up to their perching spot in order to eat it so that they're less vulnerable sitting on the ground eating. You can tell the difference between the male and the female kestrel by the color of their wings. The female kestrel has reddish brown wings and uh, striping on the tail. The male kestrel has slate gray wings and no striping on the tail. So it's pretty simple to tell the difference between them. And because they are nesting in the cavity of a tree, it doesn't matter really their coloration in regards to camouflage when they're with their young or their eggs. So when you do see those kestrels on the wire, you're going to notice that they do a bit of a tail bob and, and uh, bending motion to stay balanced on the wire, and that kind of gives away the identification as well. The other thing, if you're lucky enough to see a kestrel up close, is you'll actually see what's called a beak tooth in the hook of the, of the beak, which they have since they are raptors. They also, of course, because they're raptors, have those nice uh, long claws to grab their prey. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to respect the plants and animals in your local conservation areas, and watch us next time on McHenry County Conservation District's Wonders of the Wild. Oh, <laughs>